Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Monster Hunter Try. I'm Social Dissonance, also known as Shepard, and we are on part 8 of the Let's Play. So I really just want to start powering through the rest of the quests. Uh, the, the real bulk of the game happens when you're actually taking down the real monsters. And so as such I'm just going to really just burn through the next couple of quests in the chain. I don't know how long it'll take me. I'm just going to see, you know, I think I'm going to set a little goal for myself. Hopefully within three parts I'll have finished everything and I'll be up to the Great Jaggy. So sometime tomorrow I could take him on and you guys can start seeing something actually exciting. So this quest is I just got to take down some Jagia. They are slightly larger than the normal sized Jaggies, but still fairly easy. They take a good number of hits only because they have so much life, but in terms of damage it's really inconsequential. And I believe they are found in Area 5 and then in the cave. Should probably upgrade my weapon at some point. This is the power of my hunter's knife. Still not bad, though. Nice thing about them is they actually give two carves, as opposed to one car for mo most monsters. Man, I get really lucky in this Let's Play with my carves. Like, monsters just leap over me all the time. Okay, so there are three here. I'm pretty sure after I kill a couple of them, we will see them respawn. Well, I actually probably should have brought a whetstone. That's okay. Hopefully, I will still be able to complete the quest. I don't know if there's any part in their body that you'll bounce on. I don't think so. I mean, the damage is so low for this weapon. I mean, it's really as low as you can get. That You're probably doing about two, maybe three damage at most per hit anyways. And so the damage you, reduction you get from it being a small weapon or a, a, a blunt weapon isn't isn't that bad. And is one going to fly back down? Maybe not. Maybe I do have to go back to Area 5. I changed my hairstyle, by the way. Got kind of that blonde, Japanese punk hairdo. But it was kind of cool. And I didn't really like the other hairstyle I had. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I really need to kill one more. Where is it? I'll try the cave. The other cave. They do this in their quests. They will purposely hide monsters in places that you wouldn't normally look for them. And generally what I do when my stamina is low is I do just what you see there. That's when I'll start taking the rations. Because otherwise it's definitely a waste of time. There we go. Yeah, this is pretty nice because there's a whole bunch of gathering nodes in here as well. Okay, how long did it take me? Three minutes? That's not bad. Like I said, the, the purpose is just to power through. You know, you guys want to see me fighting Jaggy, you guys want to see me fighting Kuropeko, Royal Ludroth. That's the really fun part. Of course, Aqua Glow jew Jewels, that's what you need in order to make decorations. You see, that's... Let me see here. I've got two gathering jewels and one blessing jewel slash whim jewel. You make the blessing, you need mystery bones. You just find them from gathering from bone spots and random areas. So in that little cave there or in the underwater cave. And then for the gathering ones, I believe you need to get Kelby horns. Which you get from knocking out Kelbys, which you'll see in part six. And as you can see, if you aren't normally equipped with this full leather set, gathering will take you quite a while, but with it you can really just burn through gathering nodes. Okay, so what's my time currently? About five minutes. I think about five minutes a quest. I've got about six quests ahead of me. I could probably make pretty good time. 
Let's keep going. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be fun. And actually, this is a good quest to have speed gathering on. You need monster guts, which you get from these little fat guys in the water. Which I'm going to show off. They're like uh, sea lions, manatees, except more dinosaur-like. I'm just going to take all of these just in case. This is another one of those shortcuts I was talking about. I'm not sure if I've shown this one off yet. I might have in an earlier part. It takes you right to Area 9. You can't go back. I guess you come through that little cave over there. But it gets you there one way. Okay, so I am all stamina up. And the guys I'm looking for, they normally spawn in Area 10. See, there's one right there. There might only be one. Well, I'll definitely take, take him. The underwater fighting can be a little tricky, and actually, especially with the Sword and Shield. The Sword and Shield is one of the most maneuverable weapon sets. I mean, clearly... But when you get underwater, the normal combos you're used to just don't come out nearly as smoothly as you're used to them doing. And that's one. That's two. And let's go to area 11. Hopefully there'll be a couple guys in there. We will see. There's a swimming skill in the game. And at this point, you can only really get negative swimming skill from wearing chainmail, and hopefully you're not doing this quest in chainmail, because that would just be horrendous. But if you get something like the Legiacrus armor, you get plus swimming, which lets you move a lot faster. Holy crap. So according to the villagers, this guy is here is the one that's been terrorizing their hunting fleet and causing the earthquakes. So Legiacrus, and he is extremely powerful for the area we are in. Yeah, see, he's tormenting everyone. Okay, so actually in this quest you cannot kill him. Um, the best you can hope to do is break a couple of his parts and get it, get those parts in quest rewards. He's gonna scream. I block it. He's trying to block it in time. You can actually block screams in this, which is pretty helpful. Holy! Wow, that is a lot of damage. Okay. They usually only give you three first aid meds, but uh, this time around they've been kind and they've given you five. So, a lot of his attacks just involve charging at you in a straight line. I'm still looking for the other guys. There they are. As long as you have enough stamina to keep circling, generally he's not going to hit you. Try to keep your camera on him from time to time. It's kind of like he's ignoring me, but I know he's not. He's going to come out and own me in just a second. What is he doing? Where is he? He went to sleep. Well, that's kind of embarrassing for him. Pretty easy for me, though. <laughs> there we go. That's our last monster guts. 
Let's go take a look at him. I wonder how close we can get before he'll wake up. He's like sunbathing. I'm gonna punch him in the face for you all. I'm gonna run away. <laughs> Alright, with any luck I'll have enough stamina to actually get out of here. I have no idea why he fell asleep. That's got to be something to do with this one quest. They figured that if he was constantly chasing you like you were in a real fight, like everyone would die and never be able to complete it. There's actually a shortcut in Area 11 to get back to Area 8. Clearly you've seen me, or maybe you haven't seen me. There is a, a little cliff in Area 8 you can jump off of to get into area 11 but something else that most people don't realize is there's a chain of vines in area 11 that you can climb to get back to area 8 so sometimes you'll be playing online and we'll actually start you off in area 11 and let's say the boss is in area 7 I mean that is a long way to run so if you just climb up those vines you can actually get back into the fight fairly quickly Just make sure it's three monster guts. Three monster guts. Very good. And don't let these guys steal from you. That would suck. And if I really wanted to speed up the process, something I could have done is you can farm Excite Shrooms with bomb material. And that creates what we call a Farcaster, which will let you teleport instantly back to the main camp. I mean, the run is only about one minute, so it's not that bad. But if I ever become exceptionally prepared for these quests, I will go ahead and farm up that material. There we go. Go ahead and show off my little Japanese haircut. I don't even know how that's possible. You'd have to have one hell of a widow's peak. Plus a lot of gel and hair to swoop forward. Hydro hides, you get those from Lujoths as well. They aren't exceptionally helpful, but, you know, there's something. I might go ahead and, and make a new weapon right now. I think the a bone hammer would serve me fairly well because a lot of people are asking for it. Oh, so by doing that quest, I have freed up the fishing fleet to go ahead and start, start fishing. So that's great. I'm going to go ahead and, and get right into that. Not particularly, but I'll go through it anyways. Basically, these guys work just the same as the farming dudes, except you don't need to give them any source material. You just spend the points you've earned, and they will go out and they will pick things up for you. So I actually don't have any pokey points, because I haven't been 